Hello everyone, I am Ms. Pink and welcome back to Game of Thrones. Ethan? Ethan! I couldn't find him. Could you? hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me! Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira oh. was here. And Asha. And... and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. Can't wait to go to King's Landing. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was He's nice. smart. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Whoa! Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Oh... Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, me. you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me, or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. <laughs> Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asha, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. I got the necklace. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so mm. much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious. Puberty. in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. That's what puberty is. I'm Promise sorry. me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be I like that. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. Yeah, but sometimes but being nice gets you killed. You're the new lord. You can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. <laughs> that's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the Lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Great. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. What? He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were I you, have to I would go. command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. I don't wanna, but I gotta grow up. You're walking in the wrong way, dude. Just saying. 
<laughs> oh, man. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough I as it is. I can handle this. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five not times as many men. And the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. <gasps> my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Jeez. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Fetch Lord Whitehill some bread and salt. It was an oversight, Lord Whitehill. I promise it won't happen again. Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roos Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're we losing all... control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Uh, uh, uh. It was your man who started it. I'm not provoking. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. I'm not leaving until I have his head on a fucking spike. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck? Fuck sent him to the wall. Answer me. Who's the one who did it? I did it. I did. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... Mm. this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. It's over. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house, 
but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Whoa! Mi Mira? Well, well, we have time. Whatever. Let's keep going! Time to go to King's Landing! Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's oh. betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Marjorie! Uh, look at the ironwood box. Can I look at carved ironwood tree? Ethan made this for me. Uh, the high garden brooch. Uh. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Why don't you wear it? Be proud of it. Yunkinus coin? Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. What is Essos? Uh. Unfinished letter? Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Oh. That's really sad. A dusty old tome. Coal brazier. Uh, let's look at the brazier. Uh, okay, so we can't do anything with it. Uh, look at the tone. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. Only some of them you'll see when you are dead. Ooh, look out the window. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. You're so sad. Oh, baby. A letter from Mother. What? It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally. Especially now, when your family so desperately needs her help. Uh, hello? Please don't be Joffrey. Hi! Open the door. One moment. Don't be Joffrey. Oh, sorry, uh, lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. What? Let him in. No, it's fine. Come in. Who the hell are you? Ah, oh, you're just a serving boy. Oh, for coals. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. 
Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Perhaps you should come back later. Do you course, work for... I'm kind of worried. Does he work for... Varys? You can never be too careful in King's Landing. Marjorie! Lady Marjorie, you're early. Is I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. <gasps> It's her oh, voice. There's something we must discuss. It's it's Natalie Dormer's voice. <gasps> oh. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden, a dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. I need and your, your whole family as well. I need your help, my lady. Of course. And I will help you in any way I can. But there's another matter we must attend to first. Of course. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. How did you respond? Her face was full of mirth as she said it. How did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I'll do I as... cannot afford any conflict what do I say? with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Oh, that's Humor easy. Her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Of course. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Of course. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> Good luck. <sighs> I can do this. I can do this. It's just Cersei and Tyrion? Uh... You can do this. Okay, I'll do my best. Why is Tyrion here? I thought it was just supposed to be Cersei. Though I'm wondering, where's Santa? Ah, is Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? It's their voices. Lord Tyrion, your grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Neil. Your Grace. The cool. girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. Oh, you, know. you may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? 
She is. To yes, Your Grace. To the one true king. The one true king. Yet she didn't say which. The girl is what? clever. <laughs> she only meant. I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the North. If you would give her the chance to explain... Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. Yes, Your I... Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Is it any wonder you were so impertinent to ask which king deserves your loyalty? If you have any loyalty at all. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Yes, your grace. Absolutely. I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey. If it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. Be true to I would the... be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. I have to say... She... Is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. He. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants, which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Me, 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 me. I'll walk you out. Uh, what? Okay. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Cool. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These Thank would be you. trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. Although Cersei seemed quite pleased. 
It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. <laughs> we must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I, I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll you consider. probably gonna fuck up everything. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. I the mere thought again. of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. I King's know. Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Uh, hopefully Marjorie isn't gonna smack me. I wouldn't blame her though. Mira, I was worried. Yo. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. I'd rather not discuss it, if you don't mind. Of course not. It must have been horrible. But at least it's over now. Yeah. Lady Ooh. Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah. <sighs> Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? <laughs> it's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. You'll get us in trouble. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Oh, snap. Although, marrying cool. a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Torture. Asks uh, Sansa. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain <sighs> look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Not to Joffrey. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. <laughs> Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Oh, come Sir on. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well... I'm sorry. Sarah? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. <sighs> King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? 
It's hard to People please. are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. <laughs> you were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Ask for her help. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Uh... It's about my family. I trust her. I prefer to speak alone. I prefer to speak with you alone. Sorry, Sarah, but this is just... too important to just share with anyone. Go on. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown, I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise, but my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks, and now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. It is that tire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... You're adored. Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, <gasps> my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Hopefully I won't die. Whew. Sorry, Marjorie. It's nice meeting you. I am going to end this episode here because it just seems like a pretty good place to stop. Uh, either way, we got to meet Marjorie. I pleased Cersei. Uh, I met with Tyrion. That portion is probably going to really fuck me over. Uh, I'm probably making the worst decisions ever. <sighs> but the only way to know is if can, later on in the episodes there will be six in total but with that being said I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you all have a fan tabulous day